Hey everyone, my name is George. Um, I am a authentic marketing coach. I've uh, been uh, coaching folks, teaching for seven years full time, and it's been just a, a great experience. And I am completely revamping my website at this time. And I am just so fortunate to be here with Ben, Ben Hunt, who has a ton more experience than me in terms of website design. Uh, what really works in websites, and he has a lot of uh, internet marketing knowledge. He has a project called Open Source Marketing, if those of you don't know about it. Um, but I'm just going to turn it over to Ben. You can say anything you want to introduce yourself and uh, go from there. Yeah, thanks, George. Um, so, wow, what to say. So what I do these days, I mean, I've been a web designer for 20-odd years. I've you know, been interested in usability and SEO and conversion and stuff like that. And really what it all comes down to is web design is marketing, right? We're, we're all in the marketing business. We're all in the content business. George, you and I met through Facebook, I think, yeah. initially. It's one of those things where somebody pops up and they say, oh, you've got 10 friends in common. And so I thought, oh, or, or you, we were part of some, some group and yeah. I, I, I made a comment and you said, oh, that's really cool. And we, we connected. And then I've interviewed you as part of my cracking content project that's ongoing as well, which is you know amazing to do. Um, and it's it's really great that that I, I see you as you know just somebody along along this this road. There's a lot of people coming out of the woodwork now saying you know business your your, your business life, your the way you express yourself through business and the way you express yourself. Um, in society, through spirituality, through, you know, it's like all our journey is more integrated. Yeah. And it's fantastic that we've got this technology now where, you know, I can meet somebody like you, we can share our experiences, and we can record this stuff and share it with the world. Yeah. It's just, it's mind blowing now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's so cool. It's so, things are moving so fast in terms of online community, uh, online friendships and sort of the evolution of uh, human knowledge, really, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's all just gonna accelerate our, our evolution. Yeah. Um, so, so we, yeah, with that in mind, we, you, you mentioned my open source marketing project, and I, that's, that, that is important. It's a, you know, this is basically what it is, for anyone who doesn't know it, is I'm trying to break down what makes marketing work. And when I look back, this is what my whole, career has been about mm. what makes websites work what makes marketing work and you know even broader what makes life work for us mm. and I think um, this is all relevant to what we're going to be talking about today about about your website and your positioning and yeah, stuff yeah and um, as this journey has gone on I've realized that it's not about graphic design it's mm. not about typography it's not about style it's not about fashion mm. it's yes it's about content Right, and but people have been saying that for years. Content is king. Right, but then beyond that, what is it about the content that matters? And so, with open source marketing, I've broken it down to say that anything that you want to convince anyone to do, any conversion that you want, you want to change people. Right, that's all conversion means: mm. change them from one place to another place. Mm. Um, so I've I've broken it down into this um, this model, which I imagine we're probably going to use. Yeah. It's, it's five key core elements to any campaign, any, any message. We're all in the, in the content business. Mm -hmm. right? It doesn't matter who, you know, unless, unless you are making a, you know, making a physical thing or delivering it or maintaining it, you're in the content business of some kind. Yeah. And there's five elements to, to a campaign. There's who you are, right? Who is the brand? Who, who is making you this offer? It may be a, an offer that's for a, a financial transaction, maybe not. Mm -hmm. But who is it? And that that first thing is, I, I've realised so much more important. You know, mm. the more I think about it, the more I work with people. Who you are for the world, mm. what your stand is for the world, your mission, your vision, your purpose, your promise to other people. What can I depend on you for? Is so important. Yeah. The second thing is, what do you actually deliver? You know, if I, if I buy from you, what do I actually get? You know, is it hours of your time? Is it a box that arrives in the post with something in it? You know, um, the third thing is, is the proposition. 
right? Proposition is, means basically you are promising to solve my problem mm. or deliver me an opportunity, right? And that's what you actually sell, right? Yeah. You sell the promise. You don't sell the, 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 the thing. You sell, this is what this is going to do for you. Mm. The fourth thing is the problem that you solve. And the fifth thing is the market. You know, who, who is it? Who are the people who have that problem? Mm. Yeah. So, um, it's, it's interesting yeah. that, uh, sorry to interrupt. It's interesting that you actually separate out the proposition from the problem. Tell us a little bit about what you mean by the, the, that distinction. Okay, sure, yeah. And the, because um, the, the way I look at it is that, that each of these five elements can be um, clear, unique, powerful, distinct, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. And basically, the, the way I work is if, if I'm going to work with a client or help them with anything, that's the first thing I will do is say, okay, is, is your brand clear and powerful and distinct, right? Um, is the, you know, the, the, the product or service that you deliver, you know? And sometimes you can deliver some, something that is similar to what other people deliver, right? But then the way that you deliver it can be different. So, yeah, the... I mean, the core of it, the middle one, is the proposition. Mm. You know, that's what we sell. Mm. Um, but, but really, you need, you need green lights on all five of those things. Mm. If you've got green lights on all of those, you're really you're tackling a real problem. Mm -hmm. that, you know, and you really know who's got this problem. You know how to reach those people. Yeah. And you have got a, a distinct and unique promise that you can make to these people. Yeah. Right? Um, You've got the thing that will solve it, yeah. right? That's your product or your service. You've got the skills to pay the bills. But uh, and then more than anything else, <laughs> you've got at, at the other end as well, you've got you and who you are. And you are part of what you sell. You know, you're, whether you're a, a sole trader, you know, like, like you and I are, consultant, or whether you're a big brand, you know. We've got, there's so much uh, noise in the mm. world right now, there's so many messages that we are, you know, that we have to deal with every day. Mm. That we are, our filters mm. are getting more and more robust. Mm. And I think that with all of this content that's flying around, we are, you know, the need for brands and people that we can believe in, that we can trust to help us to discern, to help us yeah. to make sense of it all yeah. is greater than ever. And I think that's, yeah. that's why um, who we are is probably becoming more and more important over time. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Wow. Well, I, I am looking forward to your uh, kind of going through these five with you um, about what we're about my, my own re redesign of the website, because um, <laughs> I, something I've discovered is that, uh, and those of you who are watching this, listening to this, if you're service providers, you know that it's sort of the hardest thing is to deliver your service on yourself. Uh, it's, the old, um, it's the old saying that the, the, that the cobbler's uh, sons, the cobbler's children don't have shoes. Yeah. Um, it's, it's sort of like, it's so much easier for me when I talk with a client and talk about their marketing and brand and try growing. And then... Turning it on myself, I'm so close to it, and I'm so attached to sort of my own ideas that that it really takes someone uh, smart and and insightful like Ben to come along and say, "Ah, oh, okay, you know, let, let's and, let's take a look from the outside." You know, and every coach has a coach, right? <laughs> yeah. As well, yeah. you know, yeah. it, it works in so many forms of business, yeah. but. You know, I, I think that especially when, when it comes to websites and stuff, it can cut both ways. Yeah. You know, there's, there's something that people talk about called the your baby is ugly syndrome. You know, huh. when, when sometimes you go to a client and you say, man, your website sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously, it sucks. <laughs> and sometimes the client, the client goes, what do you mean? We've spent $25,000 on yes, that beautiful website. Yes, 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 yes. It yeah. can't suck. Look how much we spent. Look at this invoice. Right, and, and, they, and they, have, they have been so invested in the whole process, and they've seen the development all along that, just like you say, it's like a baby to them. They are, they're, they're, their whole energy and their whole hopes and dreams are invested in that, that it's extremely difficult to admit that ex objectively it is not working. Absolutely. And objectivity is the thing. And this is why it's, it's so helpful to be an outsider. 
Yeah. You know, to bring fresh eyes to it. Yeah. Um, but yet it can, the whole thing can swing the other way as well, which is when you get this thing like, I mean, I've, we've got two teenage daughters at 15 years old twins. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that young teenage yeah. time when everyone's trying to discover their identity and, you know, realize actually I'm getting attention from people as <laughs> well. And, and it seems like I look at them, I look at their friends. And what I see is I posted this, we're, you know, part of a, a, a small mastermind group as well. Yeah. Um, sometimes we get, we get bored with what we see every day. Mm. You know, so I see all the girls with blonde hair want to dye their hair brown. All the girls with brown hair want to dye their hair blonde. The girls with curly hair want to straighten it every day. <laughs> it drives me nuts. The girls with, cur with straight hair want to make it curly. Yeah. <laughs> the, only, the only reason for all that is that they're getting bored because they look at it every day and they can't see how beautiful they are. Right. Yeah, and and sometimes that can happen with our marketing and our websites uh, as well. Yes, yes. We yes, can yes. look at our website and think, "Oh, I'm so bored of this." Yes, yes. But that's only because, like, who else that really matters has been staring at your website for six months? They don't do it. That's that's not how websites work. <laughs> you arrive at a website, you in very. I mean, yes, you'll notice the design. Yes, design matters, but it matters far less than we think it does. Mm. Okay. okay. What you noted, what you should notice is the content, the message, uh, yep. the overall feel that you get from the content as well, which matters. Yeah. Um, so if you're bored of your website, get over it. Yeah. And because that's not you, you, you're not the, 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 the audience for your website. Right. The audience for your website is turning up a breakneck speed. It's like an outdoor billboard. You know, it's like, whew, it's, you know, it kind of goes mm. past and it has to grab their attention and yep. you know, give them something. Yeah. And the real thing that it needs to give them is something I call your global proposition. Mm. Okay. So, you know, we've talked about these five yes, elements. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you've got, you've got George or George's business here, and then you've got multiple things that maybe you actually deliver. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, you know, I, you may deliver a coaching session. You may deliver a, a business acceleration package or, you know, whatever you have, might have multiple things. You may have recorded products that you sell, mm -hmm. which I know you don't because you and I yeah. <laughs> completely independently came to this point of saying, hey, if it can be recorded, we're going to give it away. Yeah. Anyway, but so, you know, but you, you may, yeah. or books or, or whatever you may do, right? And then each of those things could have more than one proposition right. associated with it. So, you know, one hour of George's time could be used for multiple things, multiple promises. That's why. What you sell isn't the hour. What you sell is the hour as a tool to deliver on a promise. Okay? Yes, yes. So, but within all of that, all of that stuff that you do, all of that stuff that you deliver and promise, all dwell, should dwell within a, a global promise, a global wow. proposition, which yeah. is what can I trust George for? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's really good. So, and, then that, and that's the thing that you should get when you arrive at a website. In fact, whatever door you arrive through, you should, you know, this is the thing that should emanate from yeah. everything that you do. Yeah. It's, just, it's your stand. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. Yeah, to be, to be, and to have it be understandable in the, in, you know, in the first five seconds or 10 seconds or something like that. Yeah, yeah, for, for, the, for the ideal audience. So, so um, maybe what we could do, and you could, you could give me your suggestion on how, how to best approach on this, but um, just to give everyone a understanding of how this, your five parts work, we can go through my, my current site just a little bit, just take, take a quick peek at it. And then I want to show you what I'm working on. It's very messy right now, but at least it's hopefully made a little bit of improvement. And you kind of, we can go through, you know, the, the, these five right. things and, and kind of clarify for everyone as an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and um, uh, hopefully folks can still see us. And I know some people are going to be listening to this on a podcast. So, um, you know, as, as we talk through this, uh, let's both just try to remember to describe everything we're seeing so that yeah. those who are just listening can, can also benefit. All right. I'm going to share my screen here. And what y'all are seeing here is my current website. And as you, this is very minimalistic, okay? So you, there's a lot of white space. Uh, there's this sort of 
tagline, you know, there's my name on the upper left, authentic business coach as the sort of tagline. And then I have these three other taglines at the very top left that says joyful productivity, true livelihood, compassion, and marketing. I think, Ben, what I was trying to do here was what you're talking about. What is the global proposition? Um, I think those words, people look at them and they go, oh, that sounds nice. They, they don't know what they really mean. So they, they try to click on these words and nothing happens. And, of course, I've heard that from multiple, multiple people that they, they were expecting something to happen there. Um, my website is very – there's a lot of white space. It's very minimalistic. There's, right now, there's just this huge picture of me in my office – I, I changed my background poster. <laughs> this, you know, background poster is different now. But um, uh, and then after this huge picture, which is actually uh, you have to scroll down to even see the whole thing. Then there is sort of my basically my homepage currently is my about page because I wanted to keep it really minimalistic. Uh, one of my business heroes is um, Leah Babauta of Zen Habits, and his his whole thing is minimalism. So I, I got, got inspired by him to say, well, let's, let's make it minimalistic too. And, you know, my, my, my whole story is here. It does a lot of words on the home page, which I, um, you know, I think I'm going to change that on my, on my new design, which you'll see in, in a moment. A lot of words, but it kind of tells my whole story. There's another picture, and then there's some comments that people can write about my story. And then if people want to, they can then go and click on free. Uh, my free page is where sort of my, my whole library is. Um, again, there's a lot of words, uh, bef there's three paragraphs of writing before they can then click on the various uh, elements here. Um, what, I, what I don't like about this right now is that, um, well, I think there's too many words before they can get to the, to the good stuff. And then the good stuff is sort of, you know, there's these phrases like authentic marketing mind map, monthly free group coaching call, that doesn't really have a context for why it's so cool. And so I'm thinking that on my new site, there needs to be at least a sentence of explanation on each one to say, why is this thing valuable for you? What does conscious yeah. money flow mean? Well, uh, so, yeah. okay. I mean, let's just, let's just pick on, on those things in, in particular. Yes. What, yes. The, what you're doing there is you're describing the, the item. Yes. Right. I don't care about the item. Mm. Right. I don't care about, necessarily you know, work with me. I don't care about George. I don't care about George's business. I don't right. care about what George delivers. Right. Okay? right. The only thing I care about is what it can do for me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whether it's your, 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 those taglines that you put at the top, they have an element of what we call W I I F M. Yeah. Right. It's what, what's in it for me. Yeah. So that's in a sense, a promise, you know, those are three things that you are taking a stand and promising. Mm -hmm. Authentic business coach is useful because it helps me to understand who you are yeah. and, 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 and what you are. Yeah. Um, but, you know, reality, whatever we put on there, we should be trying to, you know, in, in, um, get that what's in it for me into it. Mm, so, yeah. you know, if you talk about monthly free coaching call, well, you know, free means nothing to me. Right. A, co a coaching call is nothing. What's the promise? Yeah. It's sort of like um, get breakthrough insight for your business kind of thing or understand mm -hmm. how to market your business authentically or something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. You know, like they say that uh, a man who walks into a hardware store to buy a quarter-inch drill bit doesn't need a quarter-inch drill bit. He needs a quarter-inch hole. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. He needs a hole, but the, the, the drill is just what he needs to buy to make the hole yeah. The, the hardware store needs to say this, listen, the easiest way to make the hole and the most efficient way, the most secure way to make a hole is this. Yes. Right. right. So you know, that's a means to an end. Now what you're, what you're advertising on here is drill bits. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's yes. Not, yes. It's not the, you know, it's not the promise. It's not what I'm going to get from it. Yes. 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 Ah, got it. That's really good. So basically on my new site, I mean, what, what I have heard from my audience is, they like having all of my content in one place, but they want it to be searchable because like you said, they're, they're looking at these things and it doesn't really mean anything to them. They want to find out, okay, how do I make an offer authentically? Okay. Like, you know, whatever they're trying to search for. So I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do on my new site is I'm going to try to put as much content as possible on the site itself and have a search box so that they can search for it. 
And I'm going to also describe things more. Thank you. As more, okay, this is the hole you've been looking to fill. And, and yeah. yeah. Um, I, and another yeah. thing you, that people want to know is, so out of this menu of stuff that I've got here, why should I be interested in, you know, the first or the second or the third thing? Maybe what we need is guidance. If you, if yes. you are looking for a breakthrough with your money, yes. then start with this. Yes, or yes, yes. Items. Right yeah. now, in fact, they're, they're even grouped by medium. Right. right. Why do I care about George Cow's audios or George Cow's articles? Right? Yes. What I care about is I want to break through with money or I want to break through with integrity. Yes. Okay, so maybe that's what we should be. That's how we should be grouping the stuff. That's right. That's right. Yes, exactly. I think right now the way I've done it is as if the people looking at this were like my hardcore fans who were like, Yes, I've been looking for George Cow's audios, you know, but it's relatively speaking. I don't know what, if it would be useful at all to look at my Google Analytics uh, because um, I, can I can show you real, real quickly. Uh, sure. Uh, because that way, uh, let's see here. That way we can see the audience, whether they're repeat visitors or new visitors. And I actually haven't even gone in. I, I, I bet you know a lot more about, about analytics than, than I do. I haven't even gotten in and really analyzed this stuff. But just from looking at this, let's see here. Um, okay, so this is the last four weeks it defaults to. Okay. You've had 786 people have visited your site okay. um, just over 1,000 times. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you've, you've had one big peak there. I guess you published something. You, you published stuff on Medium. Dot com, don't you? Or is it medium? .org? Yeah, actually, but but I think that that peak was because I was on a con I was on a virtual conference and people wanted to check me out. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So and then you know almost two pages per session on average is you know is what it is. Yeah. Two minutes average session duration. That's that's not bad. Oh yeah. You know, my blog site is around one minute. Okay, and, and what, what, is, what, is, what is it, what, what's an average? What should we be aiming for? I mean, I obviously aiming for longer, but yeah, tell me, how, how, how does someone gauge by that? Yeah. Do you know what, there's, there's no real rule of thumb for this, and okay. one, of the, one of the most mis misleading things is bounce rate. You know, people uh, say, oh, your bounce rate means how many people arrive on the site on one page and then leave without seeing a second page. Ah, okay. And, yeah. You know, I've got articles on my blog site Right, that have a bounce rate of 95%, okay? That means that you know, 19 out of every 20 people who visit that page yeah, yeah. don't explore anywhere else on the site. Right. Okay? But then when you look at it, the average time spent on the page is four or five minutes. Yes, because they, that's all they need. That's what they How, need. Exactly, they, yeah. they have a specific query, they yeah. type it into Google, right. this comes up, they click on the page, they go, that's, that's actually really helpful. They read the article, they found out what they need, and they go away. Yeah. So, you know, things like session duration, I, I think is, is a far more important guide uh -huh. than stuff like bounce, right, or pages per session. Mm -hmm. You know, pages per session could go up if your website's so confusing, people are clicking around desperately trying to find what they want. You mm -hmm. know, and that doesn't really help, but that's how much do they spend on your site? Two minutes, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That, and, and I, I think what you said earlier about uh, where I post my content is important for everyone to get a context. Right now, my site is like a directory of stuff to other places. So all of my blog posts are actually not on my website. They're on medium.com. So that's why people don't really, I mean, I, my content is everywhere. It's on medium, it's on Facebook, Google plus LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube podcasts. So it's like, my actual audience is really scattered all over the place. I have, um, you know, personally, I've, I've had over a thousand clients and students. I've made, you know, a full-time income for seven years. I have a, a substantial email list, but it's like all of that is now spread all over the place. And what I'd like to do with the new redesign <laughs> seven years into my business is finally bring it together into one place so that mm -hmm people actually stay on my site and go around and say, well, this is a useful, this is a useful article. That's a useful video. Um, so tell me about what you think of this the percentage of new sessions. As you, as you can see here, isn't it interesting? 67.66%, literally two thirds. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so all that means is in the last four weeks, um, one third of the visits are repeat visits within that four weeks. Okay. So one third of the visits, somebody has, already been before two thirds of the people it's their first and only time in that period that they visited. Okay. Um, yeah. How much does that mean? 
yeah, is it's, there hard, a it's hard to say. You know, you want you people to come to your your website. You want them to go off and find your other content, um, and you want people to come for a second time as well. It's almost right. like saying, you know, well, what's better, social um, yeah. media traffic or search engine traffic or referral traffic? It's like, well, it's all it's all traffic. It's all good. Yeah, it depends so, on what they do. Yeah. So so yeah. what what this means? The the insight for me is that I need to be designing my site for new visitors mostly. Yes, because yes. two thirds of them, are, and and maybe I should. What I should do is I should choose for a longer segment. How do I do that month? No, what what do I do here? Do you know? Uh, yeah. Well, you can click on the date at the top. Oh, right, the date, right? The right. Date, you can scroll. Okay. You know, so, to the side. we'll just say we'll just say last. Well, it's yeah, defaulting to the last thirty days. Oh, so. how about how about let's do um, I don't know last. Well, this this year. How about January? Yeah. Okay. So you lot. should see then that percentage new visitors. Go down, I would okay. imagine. So here, here it is. Oh, no, seventy percent. Seventy percent. So, so most of my visitors still are. Yeah. Are, but are you know, that, yeah. like I say, that that's a good thing. I don't think analytics can't really give you any intelligence on this. Ah. Because re- I mean, really, George, the the fundamental question, which not enough people ask themselves when yeah. it comes to their websites, what do you want your website to do? Right. Literally, what do you want this website yeah. to achieve? Yes. For you and for the people who who visit it, ah, you know? okay. Are you making it for new people to find out about you? Are you making it for people who have heard about you yes, and want yes, to come yes. along? Because you know, there's there's quite a few uh, brands that I will work with where the website doesn't really have a conversion goal at all. Yeah, you know, because there are, there's lots of things like software sales and you know other product sales where you know the 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 marketing outreach and sales work is done by their sales force. Mm. What they need the website for is people who get the business card or get the brochure, and they want to come along and type that in and just check that it's a, a valid company. Yes, right? Right. You know, oh yeah, that, that matches my expectation. They're, they're not going to convert anything on the site itself. Right. right. Yes, oh. so, so, yeah, so that's an interesting. So I, what I'm showing you here, uh, and I will put this in the show notes as well, is I started putting together a website brief because I was starting to work with a designer uh, and, of course, my, my, my various coaches uh, to, to redesign my site. And in my website brief, I have a section called Ideal Website Visitor Journey. And mm-hmm. maybe, Ben, that's what you're talking about. It's like, who am I envisioning coming to my site and what do I want them to do? Is that right? So, so for example, I've got prospective clients coming to my site. I've got mm-hmm. prospective referral partners. And I've got fans. Um, okay. Those are kind of how I broke it down in three categories. Yeah. Uh, so, so for example, per, and when I say prospective clients, I mean maybe I should be more clear. These could be people who randomly found me online after reading an art. Okay, chances are, okay, the, the SEO game, the search engine optimization game is not the one that I'm playing. Yeah. And, and I think that's important for people to clarify because some people – yeah, they want to get on the first page of Google for a certain phrase. I'm not, that's like my strength is really word of mouth. My strength is referrals. My strength is social media. Like that's where I'm strong because I'm creating content all the time and people are liking it, sharing it, whatever. So what, what I envision is that when people come to my site, it's not going to be like, who is George Cow? How come I suddenly landed here? It's going to be, oh yeah, I saw his video or I, I read his article and now I'm here. And I'm either a prospective client or I'm, I have an audience that could use some of this content or I'm a fan. I just like his content. I'm probably not going to hire him. So kind of these three categories. Any thoughts about those three categories? Yeah. Well, I, you know, like I say, I think for, for all of those, that they, there's a common theme, which is that yeah. like, like I was saying with those brochureware sites, which are still valid, right. is what they want their whatever initial taste of experience they've had of you, yeah. they want that to be confirmed. Right. Confirmed. That's the key. Yeah. So uh, I've yeah. read a blog post. This guy sounds interesting. I go to his website. Yeah, he is interesting. Okay. You know? And, yeah. And it's not like, it's not like, oh, this guy is talking about totally different things on his website than on the blog post. It, but it's like, it's a similar enough thing. Yeah. So, well, so that's all about, you know, what is your core? What do you stand for? And, you know, what does everything emanate from that, that, that global proposition or that, you know, what's your thing? Okay, so this is interesting. So, so let's, let's talk about this and, and tell me if I've gotten 
if, if, if I'm clear enough about that global proposition. So when someone comes to my site and they might actually hire me, uh, uh, what I want them to get, this is the sort of the, 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 the thing I want them to experience, the thing that the journey I want them to have on my website. Yeah. They come onto my homepage, they immediately feel clear about my energy. Like, I mean, ideally, like they, they, they hopefully it's somehow my website conveys that I'm a generous person. I'm a, I'm a warm person, that I have integrity, that I'm spiritual, I'm resourceful, I'm humble, I'm fun. I know that's a lot to convey <laughs> in one glance, but maybe somehow colors might convey that or somehow the words, the tagline, somehow, somehow to convey that. Uh, yeah. Hopefully they can clearly see who I help. Um, what I've seen that most of my clients are coaches, are consultants, are counselors, are healers. Uh, they're, they're creating some kind of business that's about transforming other people. Okay. Mm. Um, and, and then hopefully they can be clear about what I help them do. Now, now I, I can expect that this might, what I help them do, of course, I stabilize and expand their business through marketing their message authentically and through becoming more efficient at what they do on a daily basis in a more joyful way. So, so, but the thing about okay. this, Okay, go ahead. Yeah, let, let, let's, let's stop there. Okay. Because there's a lot of words on that third point. Yes. Stabilize and extend their business through authentic marketing and joyful productivity, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So looking at that kind of person, and by the way, it's really, really important to decide who you're speaking to. Mm. Okay? Um, and I call, it, I call it polarizing. Yeah. yeah, you've got to know who your market is because if, yeah. I tell you something, you try and you try and go out to the market with a message for everybody, it will right. be uninteresting to everybody. Yeah, right? <laughs> you've got to you've got to take a stand. Yeah, all right. That yeah. doesn't mean you've got to be confrontational. Right. Yeah, you know, but you've got to say this is who I am. Yes. Not, not just say it in in black and white words, but to say it through everything that you do and say it through your design and the colors and yes, you know, all the content that you write. Yeah. And, and, your, and your photography. Um, yes. But you know, the, the, the extent to which you are clear about who you're talking to, right? that's your polarization. And when you polarize what you do, when you polarize your position in the market, you will attract those ideal people. Yeah. And let's, let's face it, whoever we are in the market, we are talking to a minority. Yes. Right? yes. That's, that's really important. The majority we don't care about, you know? Now, it's okay. I need something else. Let, let, the, let's, let's, let's take one, one more moment, moment on yeah. that point because I think that's a really, really important point. I think a lot of people think, gosh, I mean, I don't want to limit my marketing. I want to capture as many, I want my message to be heard by as many people as possible and resonate with as many people as possible so that there's a greater chance. It's like a lottery. Like if I can buy one million lottery tickets, I'm much more likely to win the lottery than if I buy only 10 lottery tickets. Yeah. So Ben, talk, talk, tell us, because I think we're, you and I both understand that point, but I think most yeah. people don't. So I'm, I'm just thinking, I, I can't think of one food that everybody I know likes. Right. You know, I've got friends who are vegans, right? So yeah. I've got friends who, who, you know, don't eat bread because it, they're allergic to it. You know, right. so, you know, right. Or like, or like, uh, like, like, like um, this, this week, uh, I, we, we've been eating okra here, okra and, mm -hmm. and and I happen to love okra and eggplant, but I also know people who hate it. Yeah. And so, and so they, when I see okra at the farmer's market, I'm like, yes, let's go and get that. And at the same, they have to put it out there so that I can easily see it. And I go, I'm going to buy it. And all the people who love okra are going to go get, get right it. And people who don't love okra walk right on by. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I've got kids who just don't like vegetables. I yeah. cannot get them to like vegetables. Yes. You know. Even I've got you know twin girls and they don't even like the same food. So you know the the idea that there's a mass market for anything is is, is a myth, right? There's yes. nothing that everybody wants. Right. So, but the, that extent to which you are clear and specific and bold and honest and transparent about what it is that you offer and what it is that you don't offer, whom it is that you serve and who you don't serve, mm -hmm. right? The yeah. extent to which you do that and the clarity with which you do that that is your polarization and that is the extent to which you will attract those ideal people yeah. and at the same time by the same measure equal measure you will repel the wrong people ah this and is important. both of those things are good yeah yeah because you, you actually don't want the wrong people going very far into the whole exploratory process with you because 
the more time you spend with the wrong people, the more time you're not spending with the right people. Right? Like, like if I, if I do a hundred, if I'm so broad on my website and I invite everybody to an exploratory call with me, right. And then I'm not clear about who I'm not filtering the right people. I'm like, I'm having a hundred exploratory calls. And it turns out like 70 of those are actually not my ideal clients. I just wasted 70 times half an hour. You know, right? exactly. Yeah. We, you know, and this is the 80, 20 principle of work, right? right? You know, a, 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 a minority of the people that you could serve, will be right for you yeah. right and a minority of them will be amazing and a minority wow. of those will be perfect you know yes um this is something we find in conversion rate optimization as well which is that you don't want to expand the top of your funnel too wide ah, because that could actually really. cost you cost you later on yeah you know? well but plus it's to to get the word out to everybody costs a lot of money whereas to get the word out to a specific audience costs a lot less. So, yeah. so when you see what I've written here, uh, that I, I help coaches, consultants, counselors, help healers, what do you think, first of all, is that clear enough? Yeah, I, I, I see that that is a, you know, there's some group, there's a group of market sectors there. Yeah. Um, consultants is quite broad. That's quite a yeah, horizontal thing. So. You get consultants in all kinds of, you, get, you know, medical consultants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Could be like corporate consultants, which I, are not my expertise. So, yeah. so, so, what what is it about those four words? How about that, how about that they have in common? Spiritual. Yeah. So that's okay. a little bit narrow. Like people, coaches, consultants, counselors, healers who are who are spiritual, um, and well, yeah, like like they approach life spiritually and they want to create a business that's aligned with their soul, kind of thing. Yeah. That's a little better, right? Um, yeah. Now, if somebody may, may be in a, a, a business that doesn't meet what doesn't, doesn't match one of those four words, so, you know, maybe those four words, maybe you should be replacing those four words about what you just said. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting because, because one, of my, one of my audience members just suggested to me that my tagline should be, well, I, I, I suggested the term benevolent marketing. She thought, oh, benevolent, that's an interesting word that I don't hear very often. That's, that's a mm. good word. I, and she said, what about your tagline being benevolent marketing for soulful entrepreneurs? So that's a little bit broader. Um, mm. but, yeah. Yeah. I get it. I and, mean, you know, I was thinking about the word entrepreneur as well. And do you know what? This, this little thing that we're talking about now is the whole thing as well. You know, this <laughs> it's is really important. It's, it is everything that, that we're talking about because yeah. when you get this, and when you get it and it really targets that center of you, then everything else just falls out naturally. Yeah. It, it, it flows. It's brilliant. It's amazing the way it works. Yeah. Um, so, you see, you've, you've just used the word entrepreneur. And I had the word entrepreneur in my mind earlier on. And, I'm, you know, a lot of people are speaking to the entrepreneur right. market. Now, right. here's my thing. I'm not sure that every healer is an entrepreneur. I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, I, I don't think they even call themselves an entrepreneur. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean one example. If, if, if someone approached me who had a product business, they're trying to sell some product, the first p person that comes to mind is I would refer them to you. Because right. I'm not, I, as you can see here, I, I, I help service providers. I mean, it's particularly on, like solopreneurs. Mm -hmm. So maybe solopreneur is a better word. It, so, it may be, it may be, and, you know. Yeah. I think, you know, when you, when you find that, that thing, it should, you know, another thing that you could do is literally to write down your 20 best people you've ever worked with. Yeah. Right. And, you know, I'm not going to say best, but, you know, according to George, these are the people that if I could get people like this every time, this is, this is what I go for. Yeah. Because not yeah. everybody that you've worked with, yeah. not even everybody that you've helped is your ideal sweet spot target market right, right? right, right. you know because there's yeah. lots of people lots of people in the world that i could help i could sit there churning out websites for people all day long that's not what i that's not my thing that's not the best use of my skills yes. and my time. right so it just doesn't mean it's not helpful yeah. but it's not it's i'm not using my superpowers and that, that's another you know question to ask yourself is what are your special powers yeah what, what is it the skills that when you use it you make an exceptional difference not just yeah. helping right 
that really, really make a difference. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. And I feel like marketing and business is, well, marketing is sort of like the business way to find your calling <laughs> because you have to clarify all these different things. So, okay. Let, let, let's kind of go on this journey real quick and tell me if you think that this makes sense. And I think for everyone listening to this, whether this would make sense for them to do for their site, to envision. So like I envision my prospective client, they land on my site, they basically get clear about my energy, my kind of my characteristics, my traits, and they get clear about who I help and what I help them do. So mm -hmm. that, that ideally should happen on the homepage, right? Yes. Should happen on the and, homepage. Yeah. And every page, ideally. So really, you yeah. know, what yeah. we're thinking is, it should say George Cow, right? Then we have six words or, or so. And when you read those six words, you get it. Uh, and that's what a tagline is for. That's yeah. why that's so important. You know, sometimes, and you know, then after that, you've got your main navigation on your site, right? Of which free is not a great sign. Look at it this way, right? I, I want something, I go onto Google, I type in a search, Right, I see a bit of text, a bit more text. I click on that text. Suddenly, I'm teleported from where I am now mm. into a new place. Right. Right. Now, so it's like, it's almost like you say, okay, I want to go buy a, a hammer. Right. I type in hammer. Boom. I disappear in a puff of smoke and I, I re-materialize in a hardware store. Yeah. Okay. Now, and that's what hyperlinking is. You, you immediately go from one place to another place without anything in between. So you, you arrive there and you go, where am I? Yeah. Do I need to go back? Should right. I proceed forward? That, that's the thing. Am I in the right place? Okay. Yeah. And, and what do you do? So you walk into a hardware store. You want a hammer. Okay. First thing you do is you look up. Okay. Yeah. What does it say? Kitchens, bathrooms, uh, tools, power tools, and go. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm in a hardware store. Yeah. yeah, that's how you do it. And that's what your navigation on your website does. Uh, so the people look up and go, oh, okay, seems to be some kind of coach or marketer. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm in the right place. Interesting. I can relax. I, I'm, and now my, because we've all got this level of confidence, right? It's like, yeah. am I, do I think I'm going to find what I'm looking for here? Or do I not think I'm going to find what I'm looking for here? And your job on your website is wherever people walk in, because they can arrive anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Wherever they arrive, you want to be, tilting that that needle towards yes i feel confident that i'm going to find what i want mm. if they are right target market you don't want to please everybody yes right? and if you know if it goes far enough forwards they will proceed forwards if, yes. they, if, if their level of confidence drops too low they will retreat yeah. back to wherever they came from the website or the search results because they thinking it i am more likely to find what i want somewhere else than I am by proceeding here. It's really, really simple. Yeah, that's really interesting. Well, let me show you now the initial uh, design of my new site. And I, I want to preface this by saying that I made a, I made a decision um, after struggling with revamping my site for years that I'm just going to keep it simple. Like my strength is my per personality, my content, uh, my relationships that I build with my clients and with my with my fans and friends like that's my strength like I'll leave the fancy branding and the fancy websites to my my, my niche mates like they can do that if that's what they love and want to spend time with I'm going to keep things simple I'm just going to create my site on Weebly again my mm -hmm. myself it's super easy to use and I'm just going to make sure that it looks decent and doesn't it doesn't turn people away, you know? And of course, I'm gonna have some professional come and make the site look a little bit better, but not gonna spend. Yeah, but, but can I just add one thing before we sure. flick over, sure. George? It's to say, you know, when you say you wanna make the site look decent or, or whatever, the, the one word that I, I want people to hold in their minds is that their website should look appropriate uh, to their message, okay? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be sexy. Yes, it yes. It doesn't even have to be smart. Right. Because. Right, think about it, right? There's, we, we've got a shop around here that sells cheap shoes, mm. really cheap shoes, right? Mm. It could be a $10 million business, mm. okay? You've got a, another, you've got, you've got somebody around the corner who might make beautiful handmade leather shoes, mm. right? Um, could be a tiny business in comparison, mm. right? The big budget business should have a cheap-ass-looking website. 
Why? Because they have a cheap ass product. Ah. Okay? They're ah. selling their shoes cheap. Their website should be bright, high contrast, black, white, gray, red, you know, very, very basic colors. Now the handmade craftsman's uh-huh. website, even though he's a much smaller business, really? right? Um, his, his website yeah. should have dark colors, nice typography, moody right. photos, yeah? Yes, um, yes. So I mean, that's the thing. It's not about the fact that this $50 million business could afford a really sexy website. They don't need a really sexy website uh-huh. because they haven't got a sexy business. Right. <laughs> Brilliant. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good. So then, okay, so, so what I'm trying to convey on my site, the appropriate feeling is ah, warmth, trust, hope, um, integrity, that kind of thing. Okay, so here we go. And this is still uh, un, untouched by a professional designer, which I will get some professional Weebly person design, graphic designer to make it look nicer, a little bit nicer. But uh, here is the current um, draft of it, the homepage. Uh, as you can see the difference, uh, those of you who are listening, uh, the, the, what, what you're seeing on this page now, there's a back, instead of white space, I put a, a warmer image background. Uh, it's basically like, an, like water, there's water there, there's a little sunset or sunrise, I don't know. Uh, and there's kind of like a walkway um, uh, going to somewhere. And compared to my earlier one, which is, uh, which is completely kind of white space, Kind of more Zen feeling, but my my clients have told me that this sort of this this sort of um, cold stern look is not really who I am because mm-hmm. I'm much more warmer, you know, and much you know anyway. So so here it is. Um, what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a logo designed that that has my tagline. So I mean George Cow, you know, benevolent marketing for soulful entrepreneurs, something like that. So that's gonna be up here. And then, then here I have this sort of, I guess you can, might say it's a global promise. What if you can experience joy, freedom, and love in your business daily? Yeah. And that's, you know, that's the first thing I noticed. And I, I really love that. Okay. Because what, cool. what, what you've got there is you've got, you know, the hint of a promise. You've got, you've got that, you know, that thread that I can pull on. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So, so and, then, so then here, uh, the second line here, the second paragraph, authentic business mark, but benevolent marketing for coaches, consultants, counselors, and healers. I'm trying to say is if that's you, you should stay on the site. But but what what do you think? It's well, this uh, this this is the the single most important thing for you to to yeah. to get is yeah. this is my you know that is what yeah so it, amazing thing you've got there is your main heading on the website right you've got your global proposition right what I suspect is that we're not quite there with your global proposition being terribly accurate, right? Yeah. If, you, if you think about it, right, you do right, all your best things that you do for people, mm-hmm. right? And it, let's say you got a whiteboard and you were to, yeah. um, you know, map all of these things out, these little blobs on the whiteboard. Right. Your global proposition, and, and you know, forget all the stuff that you don't enjoy doing, can't do very well, right. don't want to do, right? Forget right. all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. So all your best stuff, for your best clients. Yes. What you want to do is you want to take another color and you want to describe a circle around those best things. Mm. That's your global proposition, right? Mm. It includes Mm -hmm. all the great stuff that you do and it excludes all the, as much of the other stuff as possible. Ah. Right. And we want to do that in relatively few words. So authentic, if authenticity is, you know, yeah. important then yeah if everything inside that circle is authentic great you know yeah. I business see. and benevolent marketing okay i don't quite get the, the you know business and or benevolent um, yeah i think i think I, I need to change that you're right i think this is a little bit confusing yeah yeah um, and like i said i think consultants there's some consultants are outside of your circle right and some counselors are and some healers are yeah some coaches right. are you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing that you don't have many college football coaches on your client. <laughs> no, so, but, right. hey, they're coaches, right? But, you know, we know what it means. Yes. But you know, this is why it's so important to, to get to the, the essence of what it is that, that you offer. Yeah. Okay? And, you know, it doesn't, doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes you, it just may dream, you know, come out in your dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about logo. You know, it, it could be great to have like a handwritten logo, but that strap line, that main heading, critically important. In fact, the, the strap line going into your logo, if you can make that your global proposition, fantastic. 
When you, when you say strap line, say, say more so people know what that means. Okay, so the strap line or tagline is the few words that generally sit under your website logo. Ah. They are omnipresent, they're there on every page on your site. Right. And it's critical as it's, signage it's to like help this. people to know. Yeah. 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 Okay, so basically all, 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 on my current all, all, site all, all, is George Cow Authentic Business Coach. Or, or you mean like maybe this, the, the, you yeah, because 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 that that the, those things all all of that's on every every, on every page, you know. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, and what it does is it helps people to know answer that question: Am I in the right place? Yeah. And you yeah. want the people who want what you offer to know: Yes, I'm in the right place as quickly as possible. Yeah. And you want the people who don't want what you offer to know they are not in the right place as quickly as possible. Okay. Uh, so generally. My, my general advice would be that we want to, to, we want to describe that promise to people, not describe us. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, authentic business coach is great. Well, it's, right. you know, great for you, George, you're an authentic business coach. Okay. But what can you do for me? Yeah. So, you know, if you can, you know, I, so I love what you, if you could experience joy, freedom, and love in your business daily, that mm. this is really interesting mm. that, speaks to me yeah yeah it's like, that's nice that's your that's your promise it's like it doesn't i, I don't care if you're a coach or a healer or you know a, a, a you plant trees for a living okay? yeah right. or grow vegetables or breed dogs the important thing is right you've identified they're in business mm. they may be a business owner they may be an entrepreneur maybe not necessarily mm. okay yeah but they are working in business, okay? If right. everybody that, that you work with is in business in some way, then great, that, 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 you know, we should consider keeping that. Right. So, yeah, I, I'm really drawn then to that, that first line, joy, freedom, and love in your business daily. Right. And I wonder whether joy, freedom, and love says more than spiritual. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I think the word spiritual is actually confusing and not confusing, but it's, it's, it does not, it's not resonating with my ideal clients necessarily. It's kind of vague. Yeah. Maybe, you know, it, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great word. It's a descriptive word, mm. but somehow you're not promising that, mm. you know, you're, you're promising the experience yeah. of joy, freedom, and love. Mm. Yeah. Um, so how about, you know, your strap line could be um, experience joy, freedom, and love in your business. So that's seven or eight words. Yeah, or, or joy, freedom, and love. Uh, joy, freedom, and love. The, um, the, yeah, yeah, in, in your business. I guess that's six words. Um, yeah. So, but no, that's experience, good. experience is really interesting as well. That's true. And, and I also wonder whether joy... You know, there's there's overlap between these words as well. True. Yeah. Freedom and love. Freedom and love are, are clear distinctions. Yeah. And joy kind of assumes a sense of freedom and love as well, or freedom and happiness or something. But yeah, yeah. this is this is really interesting. And I think, you know, I don't know where. The, can you remember where that where that phrase came from when you first wrote it? <laughs> came out of came came out of came from spirit. <laughs> That, um, that's what I'm saying. You know, sometimes you just don't know where. Yeah. Of you, but yeah, you know, that's really. So sometimes, sometimes the gray matter isn't isn't the uh, the best tool for the job. Right, right. So then on the homepage, uh, as you can see here, like I've got the the line experience your friend and learn business daily. Heart based service providers and messengers create and grow a thriving business. Uh, and then below that, my main the main part of my site is going to be a video, and the video. What I'm going to do, and you might find this interesting, Ben, I'm going to create an, a welcome video about who I am, my expertise, and just like really short, hopefully like two or three minutes. And, yeah. the, and, and then I've got, a, I've got like you know, six or seven uh, client testimonial short videos that mm. I'm going to put after that. Um, so I'm going to put this all into a YouTube playlist. And then I'm going to embed the first video of the playlist right here so that after my intro video plays the next video immediately plays which is the client testimonials blah 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 and then i'm going to end the playlist with all right if you're if you're still watching this you know i hope you've gotten a good sense of who i am and what i do for people i what i recommend you do is now click on one of the buttons below 
to access what it is that will most help you. Is, are you looking for joyful productivity and a structure in your business that creates freedom and, and joy and love? Are you looking for a way to market your business that feels really good to you? Or are you looking to clarify your, your financial life and making sure that that's mm -hmm. uh, healthy and thriving? Okay. Great. Yeah. I love the video thing. Okay. You know, the one thing that is missing that is not present on this homepage right now that is very much present on your your current site is George. Where's George yeah. on? Yeah, that picture. And, yeah, my picture. You're right. So, so yeah, that 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 first still frame of the video needs to be you, your face, because uh, mm -hmm. there's two main reasons for this. One is the website's called georgecow.com. The second is, you you know, going back to what you sell. Yeah. Okay. We're to, we're we're talking about the, the proposition and what you actually deliver, but what you sell is hours with George, one yes. way or another, right? Yes. 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 Okay, so I, I've got another client also in California called Sharon, and you know, her what she actually sells is training and in a, a particular um, kind of coaching methodology mm. or, or therapy methodology. Yeah. And all of that training is face to face. Ah. Right? Yep. So we're making sure that she is present on the site, right? Mm. She doesn't like to write, so you know, we use but she's great. She's wonderful to, you know, to, to speak to and listen to. So yeah. we're using video. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, because that's what you get. Where, where, if people want to sign up for her stuff, they're going to get Sharon. Yes. So we right. put Sharon on the site and it's a yes. unique George. You need some Georgeness on there. So, so the, so the, um, the custom thumbnail, this needs to be designed. It, it can't just be a random picture on the video. It needs to be a designed Right, like a nicely designed picture of me, and maybe that's yeah, yeah the main main thing. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really really if, helpful. If I, if I can make one more suggestion, yeah. create and grow a thriving business that you love. Maybe because you know what, oh, right. create and grow a thriving business. There's a lot of people offering that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm. that's the most important thing. It's it's that you that you love, and that says that you you know you're proud of it. You know it's coming from a place of integrity. You know, it's a true expression of who you are. You know, there's so much, so many ways that we could, um, yeah. you know, that describe this thing. And it's like, well, what fun to, to get to play with this stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so then, and I, I love the idea, idea of the video, okay? Yeah. Now, underneath then, we start to lose the scent of the trail, I think, a little bit. Because now you're saying, consume my content, browse my content. Mm. Okay, so we, we've lost the sense of, oh, you, okay, you, you just offered me joy, you know, freedom and love, that experience, and now it's like, oh, check out my content if you want. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't mean to be rude, but no, no, the, no, I love this. I love this. The, the, other, the other thing that, that crosses my mind is joyful productivity, benevolent, benevolent marketing, healthy money. Yeah, what if I want all of that stuff, George? Right. Why are you forcing me to click on one of these one of these um, ah, things? Yeah, yeah. So, mm, interesting. What, interesting. Yeah. What I'm wondering is, there's, there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with a whole load of words. Yeah. Or there's nothing wrong with a video. Mm. Or you could do a short one minute introduction. You can have three videos there to say, you know, yeah, this is my introduction to how I help people like you. Mm in um, each of these areas. And by the way, when you do that, you can always assume that you are speaking to your ideal prospect because if it's not your ideal prospect, we don't care. Yeah. You know, this message is for you, my ideal future client. Yeah. You know, I, I'm speaking to you as somebody who is a kindred spirit to me. Yep. Um, and you know, don't hold back from that in order to try and please somebody who isn't that kind of person mm -hmm. because they're never going to become your client anyway. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, that's really, I want to respect your time, man. You've, you've given, you've given an hour here. Uh, it's been very, very interesting, very valuable uh, for me. And I think for the folks who are watching and listening. Uh, so Ben, if people want to look at your content, learn from you, uh, use your services, what do they do? Well, go, go along to benhunt.com mm -hmm. and you can get hold of you know, all my books are on there. If you go on my mailing list to get all my, my recent books for, for free, um, my uh, blog, I mean, I've got some blog posts on there. I've got webdesignfromscratch.com as well and opensourcemarketingproject.org, but they're all linked from that side. So go along to uh, 
benhun.com and you'll, you'll, you'll hopefully get a fit. And look, there's a whole load of text. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and I actually read this when I first came here. So there's something about this is working, working for me anyway. Yeah, it's nice. Great stuff. Nice. Well, George, look, I mean, I, I, I think this is a, a wonderful, exciting process to, to work through. And, you know, I'd, I'd love to keep in touch with uh, how that, that, you know, those couple of lines of text that are coming along. So, you know, yeah. please keep, keep me in the loop. Absolutely. Well, let me, um, let me kind of stop the recording first. Hopefully folks have found this interesting. If you have any uh, comments, well, gosh, if those of you who are listening to this, uh, know my work and have any suggestions for what some of my few lines should say, please, please do let me know. Um, if you, yeah, definitely check out benhunt.com and, um, if you have any questions for Ben, you could maybe comment underneath the video. Ben, I'll make sure you see it if, if, it's, uh, if, it's, if it's there. So okay. let me just kind of stop the recording. Wish you one well and um, till the next video. Bye, everyone. Yeah.